So I was on uh, the second nuclear-powered missile submarine that went to sea, and we were in the North Atlantic somewhere uh, in 1962 in October during the missile crisis. And we stayed out there for 132 days submerged. Why, why, do you th why were you submerged for that long? Well, everybody was told to stay exactly where they were until they got everything settled with Cuba. We didn't know it at the time. We had no idea. So, so you didn't know that it was what was going on? No, we didn't know what was going on. So what were you thinking? We were thinking, what movie will we watch tomorrow? <laughs> You had no idea how close we were to World War III? No, we had wow. no idea. Not really, no. Okay, well, tell me about just then living and working on the subs, and also um, what you did. What was your job? Well, that, that particular one, I was a, a missile technician. I took care of the, uh, the guidance systems on the Polaris missiles, and uh, life on there was pretty good. We ate good, and uh, it was no different than sitting right here. I mean, once you're submerged. Uh, it's smooth, you know, so like I say, we liked the eating and we had studying and watch movies and eat good. What made you choose to go into submarines when you joined? I couldn't get into flying because I didn't have any college. <laughs> that was my second choice and uh, some of the recruiters I had, uh, they were from uh, this area back in here and uh, it just so happened that uh, I just, they, they give me a choice. They actually give me a choice. And I said, send me to submarine school, say. So that's where I went. And I went to, and I started out as an uh, EM. I was the electrician's mate. And then I re-enlisted and turned and uh, re-enlisted to get, to go to guided missile school back in Dam Neck, Virginia is where we went, say. We was back there probably like nine months going to school, say.